September 18, Balmoral Park in Chicago. Right now, our 13th and final race of today's card is at the post. And here they come behind starter Gene Montgomery. They're off and pacing. Image of a King is very quick on the far outside to take the early lead. Transcend them all. Comes away second. Kickapoo Yankee gets out third. Air King is fourth on the outside. Double Steel is fifth. Problems for Kickapoo Yankee, who, ma who made a break going into the first turn. Air King got jammed up momentarily behind him, but now everyone else funnels through down toward the inside, and Kickapoo Yankee drops out to the back. Racing toward the quarter mile mark, field being led by a length and a half by Image of a King. Transcend them all, second 29 and one for the opening quarter. Air King moving up on the outside. He now goes to second and soon will challenge for the lead. Further back, it is Double Steel fourth inside of Parkersburg, who is seven lengths but moving up from the back of the field toward the half mile mark. And then Mr. Gale and Kickapoo Yankee is trailing as they move past the half. Image of a King leads it. Parkersburg is charging up on the outside for Bobby Decker in the red, green, and gold colors. The half in 58 and 4. Parkersburg now takes the lead by a length and a half. Image of a King second by a length. Transcend them all is third, a half length. Air King is fourth on the inside. Gap of two to double steal. Margin of 15 to Mr. Gale and Kickapoo Yankee, who is trailing at the three quarter mile mark. Double steel was rough gated midway on the far turn. And Parkersburg has a two and a half, now a three length lead to Air King, who's second by a neck. Transcend them all is third. The three quarters, 128 and one. And Decker is trying to get Parkersburg home. They're an eighth of a mile from the finish with a three length lead. Transcend them all, second a neck. Air King is third on the outside. It is Parkersburg put to a drive. A one length lead. Air King is coming after him on the outside. Parkersburg by a length. Air King is still coming. It'll be close. Photo finish. Photo for the win, either Parkersburg or Air King. We do know that Transcend the Mall was third in 158 and four. The result of the photo is about to come up and ladies and gentlemen, the result of the photo is a dead heat for the win. Yes. It's a dead heat for the win. Number three, Parkersburg, and number six, Air King. Now, we may not have a dead heat sign to post on the infield board, but be aware that that is a dead heat. Three, six, dead heat for the win. Behind them, number two, Transcend them all was third. And number one, Double Steel, was fourth. So now the winners are coming back. First of all, moving in, owned and trained by Neil Wood of Palmyra, who walks in behind his winning horse. Driven, as we said, by Bobby Decker. Here's number three, Parkersburg. This colt by Nuclear Legacy from Witchover by Escort, bred by Fair Meadow Farm of Downstate Altamont, 158 and four, a new lifetime record for Parkersburg, who wins for the fourth time this year. This is a horse that Neil Wood has raced in the amateur series on the fair circuit in Illinois throughout the summer. And there are the respective connections of these two horses congratulating one another. The folks associated with Air King shaking hands with the people associated with Parkersburg. So a lot of joy in the winner's circle and in the winner's circle right now is the other co-victor, number six, Air King, Mr. Tom Simmons, the winning driver. Air King is owned by the Decatur Connection, James Harris, the owner. Veteran standard bred trainer, Larry Reed, the trainer of record here. This is a three-year-old gelded son of Kingston, bred by Mary Lee Jeffers of Flat Rock, Illinois. And this a maiden victory for Air King, 158 and four. Effect of combos will be three, six, two and six, three, two. 
We will have those payoffs for you in a moment. We can tell you that there will also be a 3-6 and a 6-3 exacta, and the result is official. 